Well, today I've tried to keep things as simple as can be. So as we explore seven simple riffs based on E, I'll share some tricks with you to keep things really easy, but still create a really haunting sound. And also let's check out two chords that are rarely used in progressions. Hi there, I'm Kylie and I love to share easy tips and tricks to inspire you to learn the love of music, especially on piano, here every Thursday. I would love you to subscribe if you enjoy the content and a thumbs up is always the best compliment. So for our first riff of our seven super simple riffs today, let's start on our B and our E here in the right hand, blocking with our E and our B here on the fifth in our left hand as well. And let's rock from the top down up to the G, fifth, back to E, D. And we might stay there a little moment to dwell, and all again. And to go into our riff two, let's go down and drop it down here then at the lower octave, but we'll keep all the notes the same. Here we go. And for our third riff, let's start on an F sharp with our second finger, back to thumb and up to pinky. And let's add the left hand. And do that twice. And then changing the bottom notes again. So out of the seven riffs that we do today, let me know in the comments which one that you like the best. Riff number four, we're gonna move our fifths around with the right hand following the left hand pattern. So E, move up to the G pattern, back to E, down to the D. And we'll extend on there into our riff number five, following those E's in both hands, but we'll bring them up from the left hand, right hand, left hand over, right hand. We'll do the whole thing twice to the G pattern. Okay, for riff number six, let's begin with the left hand. So the left hand will start there with our fifth, right hand answer, blocking the fifths, step to the third. Then we'll go up to the G pattern there, keep the right hand the same, back again, and down to the D. And on to riff number seven, and let's start on the B to the E. We'll bring in our left hand under the B and the E. Keep the right hand the same. But here we can step down. Back to the B and the E again. And step down. Well, today I just wanted to bring attention to the two chords that are rarely used in traditional progressions. So if we're based in the key of E with this piece, then going up to a G would then be technically the third. And this is rarely used in classical music, also in a lot of pop music. We don't often go to the third chord. Likewise, when we step down from our E that we're based in down to our D, and that's technically the lowered seven. And we don't use that very often at all either in a chord progression. So you can check out our most common chords that are used in my cupcakes and pancake video. Now let's put that progression all together and play through these seven super simple riffs.
Thanks so much for joining me today. Please subscribe if you would like more videos on improvisation and piano, whether you're returning or whether you're a brand new beginner. And I'll catch you next Thursday. Have a great week. Ta-da.